Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you, um, in this video, I want to go ahead and apologize. You will hear a beeping in the background. I am sorry. Um, it is when our power goes out, our house alarm starts to beep and it takes us forever to get it stopped. So I apologize. Just see if you can ignore any beeping that you might hear in the background. Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today we're making another church ladies recipe. I mean, they're kind of coming back to back here this week. It just ha so happens that I have the groceries to make them. And so you're getting a lot of church ladies recipes this week. So today is going to be, we're going to have barbecue sandwiches. So we're actually making barbecue. Um, and so that is what we're making on church ladies recipe today. Okay, so today's recipe comes from the lady by the name of Peggy Whirl. Um, you know, I'd like to give you a little background on the lady who submitted this recipe. Peggy um, was absolutely the most beautiful lady I think I have ever laid eyes on. Her skin was beautiful. She had snow white hair, but it was so beautiful. I mean, she just... Ex exemplifies um, grace and class and she was just so beautiful. She is beautiful. Um, we would go by her house and my, our favorite spot to visit with her was kind of on her sun porch. And at this time, um, I was in a house plant, plant phase, uh, a phase that I have failed at miserably many times, but I go through it. Um, the house plants come around every now and then that phase hits me. Um, but she was wonderful at it. And she, I remember just sitting on her porch and loving her pictures and, um, loving everything, um, that was on her porch and just visiting her. You know, there's some people you can just visit and it's just so easy and so comfortable and you just feel at home. And Peggy was that person. Everything was just wonderful. Um, so this recipe is coming from her. It was submitted into um, our former church's cookbook. So that's what I'm actually going through right now is, is the former church that we were at, that we pastored. I'm going through their cookbook. Many of you have asked me, is that cookbook still available? I have no idea. So um, I can't answer that. Um, I don't know. I know they ordered a certain amount and I don't know that they can still order them. I don't know. Um, and this was several, several, several years ago. I mean, we were still there. And so, um, and it was way before we left. So I don't know that they have any more, but I will put her recipe down below. And, um, so yeah, let's get started on this barbecue sandwiches cooked in the crock pot. I'm doing it in the crock pot. She does it two different ways. She gives you instructions on how to do it two different ways. But since I'm going to be gone today, since I'm busy, I'm doing it in the crock pot. So now let's rewind to last night because I kind of had to start things last night. So let's rewind to last night and um, I'll show you what I did to get us started. Now, let me just say, what I did last night is not in her recipe. I just added that on my own. So, her recipe, I'm going to put a rub on it. I'll just tell you. I put a rub on it. Um, her recipe does not call for a rub. But I still had some of my rub mixture left over from uh, our ribs. So, it was going to go perfect with it. So, I just went ahead and rubbed it down. And so, let's back up to last night. Hey guys, well this recipe starts the night before and yes, I'm in my granny house coat <laughs> and Brian's like, you can't do the video. I said, well, it's only going to take a second. I just want to get my pork butt seasoned up and, and marinating overnight in the refrigerator and I'm going to use my rub that I use on my ribs. 
if you have not seen that video I will link it below and you'll just click on that video and find my recipe for my rub but I have some here in my lock and lock that you guys have told me all about lock and lock and I'm just loving it so much and I'm just gonna put this rub I'm actually going to pour it out here so I don't have to stick my hand down in there. I did once, but I don't think I touched anything. Well, I'm going to use it all anyway, so it don't matter. This smells smoky already. Smelling delicious. All right, and guess what? I'm gonna um, let it. Um, sit in is I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my crock pot container and put the lid on it and stick it in the refrigerator. Um, so it has been rubbed down really good. Let me wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm using my small crock pot. Now my mindset on this may be totally not right, but in my mind, if it stays in a smaller place, the flavors are going to stay more concentrated in the meat and not spread out. So that's why I'm using my smaller crock pot. And I'm just going to put him over in there. Him? Him, her. It. It. Whatever. Did you tell him you was trying a new camera angle tonight? Yeah, we're trying this new camera angle. I've got a second tripod, so... Hopefully we can find a spot that you guys like. Let's get rid of this tripod. <laughs> they can see it. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, I'm just going to stick this in the refrigerator and let it just sit in there overnight. I'll get it out in the morning. I'll put some good sauce on it and turn it on low, let it cook all day on low, and then we'll be ready to have barbecue sandwiches um, tomorrow night when we get home and are tired and ready for a good supper. Did you tell them what we're doing tomorrow? Oh yeah, tomorrow we're doing our food boxes again where we give out, uh, last time it was 1,200 food boxes and so we're doing that again tomorrow. And so I wanted to have something cooking for supper so I didn't have to worry about it until I got home and it would be ready. All I'll have to do tomorrow is I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get Bryant to pull the pork and shred it and I'll make slaw and we're gonna have hush puppies. So, and we've got a great dessert coming tomorrow too. You gonna bring them back in the morning when you put it on? Yep, we'll be back in the morning. As we get this going, I'll put the sauce in and uh, we're gonna make a special sauce to go in here. And uh, it's one I've never tried before, so we're gonna try it. Good morning, y'all. It is the next morning. I have sat my crock pot out. Um, I just wanted, I didn't want the, Hot to be so cold so I've sat it out and um, I sat down and had my cup of coffee this morning and I was reading the recipe and I actually am glad I sat down and read the recipe because the sauce actually does not go in at this point we are just going to put the the rub down pork butt we're going to put it on um, in the crock pot and just turn it on low and after we shred it is when we'll add the sauce in uh, and then let it heat back up and cook a little while longer. So I'm just going to stick this in the crock pot. I mean, it's already in the thing, but we're going to stick it in the, the warmer. We're going to get it going. We're going to cook it on low all day long. Bright and I and Isaac, we're going to church. We're handing out the food boxes again today. And, um, and then we'll be home shortly. Um, trying to decide, do I cook lunch tomorrow on church or not? So we'll see. Anyway, this is going in the crock pot right now. Okay, guys, we are back 
from um, our food boxes. My eye uh, is raining today. I got all soaky wet, so sorry. But come home, my pork butt is still cooking. Um, it was probably kind of a fatty piece, a little more fatty than what I had hoped it would be. So we're going to see how it turns out. But anyway, um, I am making coleslaw to go with our sandwiches. And I should have turned the camera on while I was making it, but I didn't. But I just chopped up. Um, a lot of people don't know what this is. It's a chopper. And I use it to chop um, lots of things. But I chop my cabbage. Um, I don't like using the um, food processor. Um, so I just use this. And I also chop my pecans or any nuts with this. Um, I have my mama's, I have one of my own, and I think I have one I bought at an antique store, so I have several of these, and, um, you just, you just stand over it and chop, and you chop, <laughs> and I cut, I start off by cutting the, um, cabbage pretty fine anyway to get it a good start, um, and then, and I don't really have measurements, so it would be kind of hard for me to show you my coleslaw, but I just... I start with a little mayonnaise and I work up because you can always add, you can't take out. So, um, mayonnaise, I put about a teaspoon or two capfuls really of vinegar. Um, I put sugar and I just add it a little at a time. Again, you can always add, you can't take out, taste it as it goes, pepper, and then I finished mine off with um, probably a surprise ingredient. Um, I don't know, but I give it a splash of milk. I put a splash of milk in there, and um, that kind of thins it up a little bit. So I'm going to transfer this to a bowl that's got a lid. I can keep it in the refrigerator. This will stay good. It'll be our for our sandwiches tonight. And then we're going to probably do hot dogs tomorrow. So it'll be for our hot dogs tomorrow. And I don't have to make slaw again. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get our sauce ready for our barbecue. I'm going to clean up my slaw mess. I'll meet you back right here. Okay, guys, let's get our sauce ready to go. Um, we are going to start with apple cider vinegar. I have... A pot to put on the stove here. Um, I got slaw everywhere. Anyway, um, so we're going to start with a cup of apple cider vinegar. All right, and in the apple cider vinegar, we're going to add a half a cup of brown sugar. Now, I'm not going to pack this like hard pack it. Um, only because my rub had some brown sugar in it. So I might just do a little pack, but nothing, nothing major. So half a cup of brown sugar. And I'm going to get out our favorite barbecue sauce. Which is Sweet Baby Ray's. Let me check and see if I got another bottle. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I don't have another bottle, so this is where we start praying. It doesn't matter. We can doctor it up, make our own barbecue sauce. I'm just kidding, y'all. But we're going to do about a half a cup of Now, my um, grandson would be laughing at that noise. We're not quite a half a cup. That's okay. It's going to be okay because I've got that rub. All right. All right. We're going in with that. Close enough, but you need a half a cup. So let me grab. I don't want to lose any of that. We want to be sure to get it. Okay. All right. So we're just going to stir this up. We're going to heat it on the stove 
Um, and once Bryant has pulled or chopped, he may chop the, the barbecue. I'm not sure what he's going to do. But this will be, you know, something we can pour over our barbecue. And we can keep some out separate to, you know, dip or whatever. But one last thing I'm going to add to this is a few dashes of hot sauce just to, not to make it hot, but to give it a little kick. Okay, so not much. All right. I think I'm going to add a little black pepper too. All right. So we're going to put this on the stove. It's going to be ready to go. We'll just turn it on when it's time for supper. Okay, guys, we've transferred the pork roast over here. It's just falling apart, tender. Look at that. So delicious. We've washed the granite slab off really good, and he is going to actually chop it. Uh, we're going to watch him get started, and then I'm going to explain the sauce to you because we did make a few little changes to the sauce. I will put her recipe down below, and then I'll also put what we changed and did differently. It's really hot. He's struggling holding on to it. All right, guys, y'all ready? We're ready. Basically, what I'm doing right now, <clears throat> getting some of the fat off. And what I'm doing, as I get the fat off, I'm just separating the fat over here in this little pile over here, okay? Um, she used a uh, Boston butt for this right here. If you want a, a, a more leaner, you can actually use a pork loin and do the same thing, okay? Yeah, he's having to kind of dig through and pull out any fat. Yeah. Um, as I separate it, I'm separating it with the grain, okay, of the meat. That's how I'm doing it, just separating it with the grain. And then <clears throat> I'm just pulling any fat off and separating it to the side, okay? So uh, it's falling apart. We turned it up on high the last couple of hours. Uh, she put it on this morning. What time did you put it on, baby doll? Uh, about 7.30, probably. You put it on about 7.30. And it's been cooking all day on low, okay? And uh, Isaac is cleaning up my scraps there. <laughs> all right, so once I got it with the grain, let's go ahead. I got a little cleaver, a little meat cleaver, okay? And I'm going across the grain now. Not with the grain. I'm going across the grain, okay? Don't chop it too fine. Leslie doesn't like hers too fine, okay? And so... And yes, we know that using a knife on granite um, we'll can dull, dull we'll your dull knife, blade. but um, it's, it's okay. I got it, a sharpener. Yep, and it works the best. So uh, that's about how Leslie does not like hers too fine. No, okay? I don't. Matter of fact, she likes hers sliced. I'd rather have mine sliced, but we're going to just do it all one way. All right, this little dab right here. Cross the grain once again. Flip it over. Back again. Cross the grain. One more time. That's perfect right there. And Isaac says you can eat this without the you sauce. You don't have to pull the fat out. Oh, with the sauce. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about the fat. I'm eating it by itself. He's eating the fat too. So. <sighs> All right, so let me put this on the tripod, and I'll talk to you about the sauce for just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about the sauce for just a minute, and you'll be hearing him chop, 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 chop. Um, the sauce is a very vinegary sauce. The, the base of it is vinegar. And um, so I used, like you saw, a cup of vinegar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of um, barbecue sauce. Isaac and Bryant, neither one, are big fans of a real, real heavy vinegar sauce. They would like to have it more molassy, molassy <laughs> or um, ketchup or whatever. So we did, they did, kind of turned the sauce and, and doctored it up to what they wanted. Now, if you like vinegar sauce, stick with what the recipe says. Whose recipe was it? Peggy Whirls. Okay. Stick with that kind of sauce. But if you if you like a little bit more of kind of a Texas type sauce, then um, you might want to either just use a store-bought sauce or you can doctor it up. Let me tell you what we did. Um, Isaac put some honey in because I did not have any molasses. We put a little extra brown sugar in. Bryant put a squirt of ketchup in and- um, It could actually use some red pepper flakes. 
Y'all, me and Isaac pepper. discussed this about adding hot sauce or red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes. You could, you could use a couple red pepper flakes. And I said, no, your daddy doesn't like spice. And guess who it is that said you needed, it could use some red pepper flakes. Yeah. Yeah, Brian. It's barbecue, because it's barbecue sauce. Because it's barbecue sauce. Anyway, and so we added a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of tomato paste. But, like I said, if you like the high vinegar, which is typical for around here. It's the vinegar sauce place around here. I'm, uh, I'm shocked that they it, it just, prefer the other. Just, anyway. So, <laughs> it's just their preference. So, anyway, depending on what you like, you can, you can tweak this sauce to be what you want it to be. So, um, y'all look, we're almost getting a pan of barbecue sauce. Barbecue. I mean, barbecue. I'm so excited. It really is good. It is good. Even good. before the sauce, because the rub is so good. Yep, it's the rub. Don't forget, if you need my rub recipe, go check out, I'll link down below the rib video. And on the description of the rib video, you'll find my um, rub. But y'all, this is so good. The sauce is delicious. It's so easy. We put it on and forgot about it. Pretty much ran and did our errands. Tell them what we did today. Well, I have. Okay. We gave out food boxes. So, anyway. It has been chopped. So, I've made the coleslaw. I told you about that. And I'm going to... That yielded about uh, three pounds of barbecue. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to just do some hush puppies in the air fryer. And um, then we'll have our supper. So I'm going to get this going. We'll meet you in the dining room for the taste test. Okay, guys. There's our barbecue. Our sauce. They did add a few hot pepper flakes. I've got ranch dressing. Ranch dressing. The hush puppies are in the air fryer. Our homemade slaw. And we're just using just regular um, sesame seed buns. And that's it. We'll let Bryant give you a taste test in just a second. Okay, guys, we've said the blessing. There's his sandwich. He's got the barbecue on the bottom. He topped it off with some sauce and then some slaw. There we go. Good old Carolina-style barbecue sandwich. And uh, you told him you made it from a Boston butt, right? Yes, Boston butt. And we just pulled it apart and chopped it. And that is a perfect sandwich right there. A perfect sandwich. Very good. Simple and easy. What do you think? That's good. <laughs> That's good. Look, his is almost gone. Good night. It must be good. Gone. Okay, guys. So, cook it in the crock pot. Start with her base of sauce, which is the vinegar, the brown sugar, and the barbecue sauce. And then we just doctored up her base sauce to, to our taste, which was we added ketchup, we added a little bit of honey, only because I didn't have any molasses. Um, added a little bit of honey. Um, what else did we add? Tomato paste, brown ketchup, sugar. Extra brown sugar. and a little bit of brown sugar, and, um, red, pepper. and red pepper flakes. So we just kind of sweetened it up and intensified it made it less vinegary and, and sweetened it up and just made it kind of a thicker sauce. So, um, there you have it. What? No. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Thank you for watching another episode of Church Ladies Recipes. Thank you, Miss Peggy Whirl, for this um, great barbecue. Um, I'm not sure I would ever do this without a recipe and I you encourage me to uh, I mean I've made barbecue before but I think I've done it from tenderloins and stuff like that um, this got me let me step out and next time I'm gonna try it in the oven like you suggest so great 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 so um, y'all have a great day thank you for watching the farm and pastor's wife and remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all <laughs>